longtime high-profile couple Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban have built an impressive real estate portfolio together, which includes a Georgian farmhouse in Australia, a penthouse in Sydney, and mansions in Nashville and Los Angeles. In recent news, the pair even scooped up a new $3.5 million penthouse in the Tribeca neighborhood of Manhattan. However, Nicole and Keith spend the majority of their time at their family home in Nashville. Since that's a lot of properties to cover, today we'll check out three of the power couple's impressive homes. Nicole Kidman is an Australian actress and producer who might I add is one of my favorite actresses in Hollywood. I've always loved her elegance and ability to play different types of characters. She began her career in Australia back in the 80s and her breakthrough came with the thriller Dead Calm. It wasn't until 1990 that she made her Hollywood debut, but she's had steady work ever since. Nicole has won plenty of awards over the years, including an Oscar in 2002. Her other half, Keith Urban, is an Australian singer, songwriter, and record producer. Despite my love for his music and considering myself a fan, I actually didn't know he was from Australia until recently. Keith's had a ton of success since the 90s in the country music industry, releasing chart-topping songs and albums year after year. It makes sense that the couple would meet at an event honoring Australians back in 2005. They married a year later and have been going strong ever since. Now with two kids together. In 2015, Kidman said about their union, We didn't really know each other. We got to know each other during our marriage. At the time of this recording, Nicole's estimated net worth is at about $250 million, ranked as one of the highest paid actresses in the world, while Keith is at $75 million himself. It's no wonder the couple has been able to buy up multiple homes across the globe. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. In this one, we'll take a look at longtime couple Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban and a few of the many properties they call home like in LA, Australia, and of course their main estate in Nashville. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Danny DeVito and Vivica A. Fox, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. While some say that Nicole and Keith's main home is this spot in Los Angeles, they claim to spend more time in Tennessee. They purchased this contemporary mansion in the hills back in 2008 for $4.7 million. According to records, the couple's home is located in the Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood, which is in the north area of the 90210 district, and as you might expect, very exclusive. Here they have some super famous neighbors too, including Adele, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, Jennifer Lawrence and Cameron Diaz. Nicole and Keith's home is modern and streamlined in style with lots of exposed concrete. Some sources claim the house is around 3,000 square feet, while others describe it as 6,932 square feet. Looking at photos, I'm more convinced of the latter. Inside there are 5 beds, 5 baths, and a lot of natural lights. A central glass staircase connects to the levels of the home, also flooded with sunlight thanks to floor to ceiling windows. The common spaces have an open and airy vibe and the home was recently renovated and upgraded just before Nicole and Keith purchased. Listing materials state the house offers a full floor upstairs master suite with dual walk-in closets, chic bathroom, and a spacious sitting room and office area. The office is situated in a corner lined with walls of windows that open to the views outside. More French doors and glass sliders can be found throughout the entire home, giving the place an indoor-outdoor feel. While photos of the kitchen and living areas are slim, from what we can see, the whole house is stylish. There's even a recording studio for Keith. Outside, the couple can enjoy tree and mountaintop views and a private serene pool area. There's also space for outdoor dining, a grassy side yard or play area for the kids, and if they choose to expand just across the street, there's an undeveloped portion of land. 2008 must have been a busy year of house purchases for Nicole and Keith, considering word is this is also when they bought their current home in Nashville, Tennessee. They previously owned a smaller residence in Franklin, Tennessee, and then upgraded to this beautiful and regal mansion, also known as the Queen of Northumberland. Of course, the estate is in the fancy gated community called Northumberland, just outside of Nashville, and the couple paid about $3.47 million for the home. 
The Enclave is apparently secure like Fort Knox, giving Nicole and Keith all the celeb style privacy they need and then some. Inside, it spans over 12,500 square feet with 7 beds, 8 full baths, and 2 half baths. In total, there are a whopping 20 rooms spread across 3 lavish floors. According to photos at the time of purchase, the estate was decked out in a classic style, offering common spaces with high ceilings and elegant details from the curtains, to the archways, to the marble flooring. The living room measures a gigantic 32 by 31 feet and the formal dining room is 23 feet long. French doors and large paned windows are offered along the main floor, letting in natural lights. There's also a kitchen with hardwood floors, and at the top of the stairs you'll find a loft style lounge area too. Other spaces include a hobby room, a rec space with full bar and pool table area, right next to the home movie theater. While there aren't pictures available for each of the many bedrooms, the master suite boasts a fireplace and an enormous attached spa style bathroom. Considering Nicole and Keith have lived here over a decade now, it's no doubt listing photos are outdated. We can note that even from aerial and exterior views, the couple has updated and renovated their Nashville palace to their liking. Since they live here most of the time with their daughters Faith and Sunday, including during the pandemic, they have shared recent glimpses into the beautiful home. Nicole previously revealed she was learning Italian during the lockdown, and a photo posted on Instagram showed the actress studying on a pale blue and cream stripe armchair positioned next to a set of double doors with glass panels looking out to a balcony. Keith can also write and record new music from home since he has a studio here, equipped with all the speakers, mixing decks, and equipment you'd see in a professional space. We even saw one of their cats, Snow, looking out from the windows at this Nashville home in a photo taken in the spacious hallway, complete with wooden floors and an antique rug. Beautiful landscaping, a large pool, spa, and full-size tennis court round out Nicole and Keith's stately property. There even appears to be a play area for the kids and a private creek of sorts. For the final property, we'll take a quick look at Nicole and Keith's Australian farmhouse. The actress previously gave Vogue a video tour of her retreat in Bunya Hill, Australia, which the couple bought also in 2008 for around $4.1 million. I don't know what Nicole and Keith were doing in 2008, but it sounds like they had a pretty prosperous year. The 1878 Georgian Mansion is a rustic yet elegant farmhouse and sits on a whopping 111 acres of land. Long hidden behind Sutton Forest property, the magnificent home has wide sandstone verandas, pressed metal ceilings, a carved cedar staircase, and 10 marble fireplaces. Not to mention their farmhouse has quite the pedigree. It has proportions and detail that made it worthy to be leased as a retreat for Lord Augustus Loftus, a governor in the colonial 1800s. Nicole showed off the billiards room on the home tour where she loves to play a game or two, and the formal living room has a grand piano and one of the many fireplaces. The couple's farm is also home to black Angus cows, an orchard, and a small guest cottage. When they get tired of the relaxing country air, they can also retreat to the penthouses they own in Sydney. Okay, I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. After looking at power couple Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban and three of their numerous properties, what did you think? If you had to choose between the LA house, the Nashville mansion, or the Australian farmhouse, which would it be? Be sure to tell me in the comments. Personally, I was sold in their main mansion. Nashville is a super nice place to live, not to mention their estate looks fit for royalty. I love a classic home. I'd also love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel. I post a new video every Sunday. I'm gonna be filming a Q&A over there, so please start asking me any questions you wanna know. Drop me one in the comments, on Instagram, wherever. I will link you my latest video. So. As you can see, I can't do it in front of the camera. Oh my gosh. Wow. Failure. I'm gonna do that right now. Y'all can stare at the back of my head. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celeb houses you wanna see next. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.